If you go to your local hardware store and start shopping around for smoke alarms, you'll find something that looks like this. In the event of a fire, the alarm will beep. But what if you're somebody who can't hear that beep? What sort of smoke alarm technologies exist for people who are deaf or hard of hearing? Welcome to Learn Something New by NFPA Journal. As far back as the late 1800s, people have been experimenting with heat and smoke detection devices meant to save people from dying in fires. One such development came in the late 1930s when a Swiss physicist tried but failed to invent a poison gas detector. Frustrated, the scientist lit a cigarette and, to his surprise, his device was triggered. It could detect smoke in the air. Over the decades, new smoke alarm technologies emerged, and today, codes require smoke alarms in most homes in the U.S. and many other countries. The vast majority of them use an audible signal to let folks know it's time to evacuate. But what if you can't hear that audible signal? According to the World Health Organization, over 360 million people, that's more than the entire U.S. population, suffer from disabling hearing loss. For these individuals, you might be surprised to learn about some of the technologies currently out there and some that have been theorized to help solve this problem. In August, the Fire Protection Research Foundation released a report reviewing both real-world and theoretical alarm technologies for people who are deaf or hard of hearing. And in today's episode, we'll be taking a look at three of them, which research has shown have varying levels of success in terms of being able to wake up sleeping individuals in the event of a fire. Be sure to click the link to the full foundation report, which can be found in the description of this video, to learn more about these three technologies and several others. 1. Olfactory Alarms Can smells wake you up? It's a question that's actually been at the heart of debate for many years, in research studies, newspaper articles, and even just online forums. There's no shortage of people out there claiming to have been woken up by the smell of bacon on more than one occasion. But were they really, or did they just happen to wake up and smell bacon? Well, there's at least enough credence in nasal wake-up calls to warrant alarm technologies that spray fragrant mist into the air. Studies, however, have shown that while smells can wake you up in lighter stages of sleep, they're not that reliable in deeper stages. In the Foundation report, authors Eric Smedberg and Enrico Ronke of Lund University in Sweden also note that people who suffer from seasonal allergies or regular nasal congestion might not wake up from smells. Currently, olfactory alarms seem to only be commercially available for non-emergency uses, and based on the science out there, it's probably best that it stays that way. 2. Bed Shakers Perhaps the most common alarm technology for deaf people are devices that shake their bed or pillow. Over the years, various studies have shown these devices are anywhere from 70 to 100% effective at waking people up, although older people do tend to respond less favorably. Right now, a number of commercially available options exist for people who are deaf to use a bed shaker not only to alert them of fires, but also simply to wake up in the morning. Typically, the device is plugged into the wall and actually connect to another device that is triggered by the sound of a traditional alarm. The authors of the recent Foundation report conclude that bed shakers do seem to be a reliable way to wake deaf and hard of hearing individuals up. 3. Robot Dogs Here's where things get interesting. Let me say that again. Robot Dogs in 2017, a study by Japanese researchers examined whether a robot dog could mimic the actions of a real dog, which deaf people sometimes use to alert them of emergencies. The researchers even built a prototype that would bump into a person's bed to wake them up. A small trial they conducted showed all 10 participants, whose hearing loss was simulated with earplugs, woke up within 20 seconds of the robo-dog intervening. While nothing's commercially available yet, in a similar development, major automaker Hyundai announced last month that it would be employing a robot dog, courtesy of Boston Dynamics, to monitor working conditions at one of its factories in South Korea. Spotting potential fire hazards and detecting temperature spikes are two of many jobs the robot will be reportedly taking on. If you want more info about these three technologies, and others, remember to check out the link to the full Foundation report. Also, if you didn't already know, October 3rd through October 9th is Fire Prevention Week, and this year's theme is all about smoke alarms. 
That also includes the kinds of technologies we discussed in this video. For more information and to download resources like fact sheets, head over to fpw.org. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please let us know by liking it or leaving us a comment. As always, be sure to subscribe to NFPA's YouTube channel for more content like this.